Morning guys, welcome back, how's it going? So let's have an update then, what are we working on today? Something we're gonna have to do with this block then is get these studs out the top of it, which is not the easiest thing to do. Um, there is a way that you can do it, which I used on the previous block, which worked quite well, and I'm hoping that it's gonna work on this one as well. So what we're gonna look at then is stud removal out of the block, okay, using um, stud removal tool and some heat and WD-40, and that's pretty much it. And I'm hoping it's gonna work because otherwise they're a right pain to get out, especially rusted ones. So let's get down and have a look at this block then a little bit closer. So the problem with the block, right, is the studs are rusted into it and it's not what you might think it's not the the threads which are the issue okay the threads are the issue um, but at the same time the studs go through into the water jacket so what happens is on the other side where the stud is in the water jacket um, rust forms there and it forms like a you know you've got the stud sticking out well imagine on the end there's a whole load of there's a big bit of rust there so when you try to pull it out you're pulling this really rusty bulb at the bottom through the threads and that's the difficult part so yeah, if you're really unlucky, there'll be a huge amount of rust on the other end and you can't get them out unless you do something like electrolysis or rust removal first. We're going to try some stud removal and see how we get on, on with it without any electrolysis and then move on to that. And uh, for the electrolysis then, guys, I've got hold of a massive tub there, which is what we're going to be putting this block in to um, try that and see if it works. I've never tried electrolysis before. You know, I've had very good results from it, of course, because it's, you know, it's a... It's a tried and tested method, so we're going to hope that's going to work really well for us. But I've got another thing coming as well to uh, clean smaller parts up in a different way, and it's not ultrasound, so I'm looking forward to that. That should really help things out. Should have probably got it years ago, but anyway, there we go. So what we're going to do then, guys, is you find your stud, and to remove it, you unscrew it and pull it out. There you go. That is the stud removal video, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Like and subscribe. Yeah, no, of course it's not that easy. Um, sadly, the studs, as you can see, have got nothing to grip onto, so you have to find a way of getting them out. And one of the ways that I've found, which works really well, is this guy in here. Stud removal tools. These are really nice. They've got a little cam inside them which grabs hold of studs, and they don't seem to destroy them. They just seem to help, the, you know, they grip them and don't wreck them as far as i found so far. So I may have been lucky, um, but we'll see how we get on with this one. So you use that, but what you have to do first is Hit the stud with a whole load of heat, okay, because you're trying to break the bond it has inside the block. So you hit it with a whole load of heat, that goes down into the block and uh, it makes the stud expand in there and uh, the walls separate from it in the threads inside the block. And then you hit it with a load of WD-40 which causes it to contract and break those, that grip, the rust grip inside the uh, stud and then you can remove it using the stud removal tool. That's the uh, theory anyway, but of course, um, you know, things don't always go to plan, do they? So we'll have to see how we do. And then we've got the manifold studs as well, which are gonna be a big pain. They're looking pretty rusty, but I'm hopeful none of those are broken off so small that you can't get at them. This guy here, we have to work at him to get him available so that we can uh, get the stud remover on there. But uh, yeah, that's the theory, guys. We'll see how we get on with that and see if that's gonna work.
So guys, we're getting somewhere slowly but surely. We're getting those bolts and studs out. It's going pretty well. Um, but when it comes to things like this, like the uh, bell housing bolt, you're like, well, however are we going to get this out again? Well, it's just like with the studs, really. Heat, WD-40 and whacking, you know. Heat really helps um, separate things. It's really, really good. Hitting them with the uh, blowtorch works very, very well. Um, so just, yeah, get some heat in there, spray it with some WD, and then patiently work on it, okay, with a long bar. You have to be very careful because you can feel when it's starting to, you know, if it's going to break or if it's um, actually turning. So you've just got to be careful when you put pressure on there because there's a different feeling between when something's going to shear and when something's actually coming loose. So if you start to feel it shear or anything like that, stop and find another way. More heat, more WD, leave it for a while, let it cool down, you know, anything other than shearing it because that's a huge pain in the butt. So guys, we've got them all apart and it's gone pretty well, as, as well as you could expect really for uh, the rusty old Jeep block. Um, we've had some failures but we'll have to look at that then. So the first thing then is the head has been uh, acid dipped and you can see that it's not completely done up but it's starting to rust already because that's how good the acid is, it takes it right back to base. Underneath then, the head itself is, um, yeah it's looking alright. These areas here, they don't look like they're going to um, impinge on the... Um, where the cylinders are actually so I think this might be okay but can't be 100% sure about that that might be a killer unfortunately the water getting into the um, the head through the uh, channels there sadly but this needs more work still this will go in the electrolysis bath and then so we got all the studs out they came out pretty well actually um, we didn't break off a single stud but what we have had unfortunately is I think some of these holes are gonna have to be redone then so if you come here this one here you can see for some reason the uh, thread is it's really got corrosion in it and the thread inside there is gone um, so unfortunately this is gonna have to be drilled out and then we're gonna have to put a thread insert in there because it still inserts I mean yeah I don't know I don't think it's uh, we're trying to do this properly so I don't think it's viable so that'll have to be redone I think there's two like that so there's that one and then if you come over I think uh, one of these guys as well is done so unfortunately that's got to be redone so those have to be done, and then unfortunately then, if you come down on the side, unfortunately our camera person gave up there, so uh, we've had to move on guys. But yeah, on the side then, what we've got is uh, this guy unfortunately broke off there, you can see it's sheared, which is disappointing, but that's unfortunately the way it goes. The rest of them were okay, it was just one which sheared, and the threads look alright, so that's pretty good, I mean, you can't really say fairer than that. And then you can see the difference in how the um, studs come out, so look at this guy, so the stud uh, thread on that is all good and then just at the end it's corroded in, completely eaten away. There's the broken one there and then you can see here's a normal thread on this head stud. And then we go to this one, this was the, um, the bad one where it's completely eroded it and completely corroded it. So that is what happens and that's all in one engine, you know, you can go from good threads to threads which are completely messed up all in the same engine. So unfortunately that's just the luck of the draw there guys. But um, I hope you like that. That's a good little way of getting studs apart. That magic stud remover is just amazing. It really makes removing them quite easy. You can see they're not chewed to pieces or anything like that. It puts a bit of damage into them, but um, it doesn't put in too much damage. And the amount of force you can put through those surfaces is unbelievable. So it's a really good tool there. So heat, WD-40 and the special stud remover makes light work of taking these things apart. As you can see, unfortunately, you can't always win. You will perhaps lose one or two. They'll have to be drilled out and redone. And then, of course, I've got that strange one up there which needs re reinserting weirdly. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that one, but he must have got water in the threads and just rusted out, sadly. So a bit more work to be done then, guys. But we're getting there slowly but surely. Hope you enjoyed that. Keep uh, watching along. If you're not subscribed, bottom right-hand corner, click on Jeep symbol. That'll keep you up to date with my uh, videos and any new ones that I release. But uh, until next time, cheers, guys. Thanks.